Hello YouTube, this is Daphne Dare to be Creative and I am here with a big Spellbinders die haul. And these are some of March and some of February. But some of them I haven't seen in my story um, at all. And um, some half of this is my sister's, half is mine. Um, but I'll just show you what we got. So my sister kind of likes, I've mentioned before, but she's a mixed media kind of person. But she also and she likes a lot of dimension and texture. So she went with I have some similar ones to these, but she went with these um, flowers because you can roll them and make them dimensional. And um, let me put these in order. So now she got me hunting for the whole collection of these, but these are the only ones I saw. Um, so these are again the Spellbinders ones, and this is um, two zero eight one nine four five. And the smaller ones are 349, so this is 349. This is Crafty Flower number two, and it is S2169. So that's what that looks like. This is a Crafty Flower three, and it's 2081947. Again, 349. And this is Crafty Flower four, 2081948. Again, and only the last two digits are going to change, so we'll just read out the last two digits. On this one is 50. Um, and that's Crafty Flower number 6. So didn't see 1 and um, 5 and 3, I think. Alright, so this, she's my sister obsessed with lemons. You go in her house, it smells like lemons. So this was a no brainer. I knew she saw that, that's what she wanted. Um, this is 2081992, and it's Make Mine Lemon Lime. This is all in her studio. And this is Orange Your Tomato. And it's 281994. And you can also pause this video if you need the number. And this is Apple a Day, 281993. And hopefully you can see it or hear me. She's actually got some large ones too. Um, I'm not sure what she's going to do with these decorative holly frame and it's two zero eight five two three seven but it's a nice piece i want to see how big it is it feels big and right oh yeah that is a huge die so as you can see that one's 7.99 and those two the la the last larger fruits were 4.99 and the smaller ones were 3.49 so this is 7.99 and it's because of the size. And this is one of the March releases. That is huge. I guess she could make a frame or something. I don't know what she's going to do with that. She really doesn't make cards that I know. I haven't seen her make any cards. This one is the Deco Lux. And it is. I like this Art Deco feel. And that's what she kind of went with. And I got a different one over there. I'll show you. 2085239. That has that Art Deco feel. And this is also... A nice one to make a card out of her. So this will make a six by six. So you can inlay it into the card, like this picture example. Or you can cut it out with this and make it a panel. So you got two options there. But it's a nice substantial six by six. And then she got the labels 46 decorative accent, 2085245. And I don't know if I read this number. 2085239 is a Deco Lux, if I didn't say that. And the Holly Frame is 2085237. And this is 2085245. I get lost. I thought I opened a package and stuff. Every time I forget. And this one is big. And I think I have this one already. Yeah, I got this one. Um, Now she likes to also do stuff like this, like the stencil through them. Like I like to cut them out. I like the paper cutouts. But she inks through a lot of these and do different designs with them um, more than cutting them out. So I use her dies too to cut out stuff. But she uses them, like I said, mainly to ink um, and to stamp and stuff and bossing through it. Um, other techniques then. I typically do. I have done it, but that's kind of how she uses most of her dies. Alright, so what I got was... A couple of three forty-nine ones, and I'll show you those. So this is the fox, and it is two zero eight one nine five five. 
and this is a Muse 2, 2081964. This is the little rocket. My grandson liked this one. It's spaced out. 2081971. So actually, I got that for him. <laughs> And the trophy also kind of got that for him too. Two zero eight one nine at seven eight. So he had to pick those two out. Not that he's gonna do much with it, but you know he'll play with it if he's in my craft room or something later. I did pick this up because I like I had the labels forty one, but I didn't have the decorative one. So this is the decorative elements that go along with it, and it's two zero eight five two five seven for four ninety nine. So if you have the actual nesting ones, you can use this to add decorative elements to it. You don't have to have those at all, but it can also cut out a shape so you can make some like an, a mini album or frames and stuff with it. So even though you can do it with this design, but with the other one, you have the other layering ability. If that makes sense, what I'm saying. <laughs> Um, I like the dimensional die, so I did get this stack and fan flower one, and it was a $7.99, and um, this is, of course, um, Becca Feek and Amazing Grace, and it's 2085238 for $7.99. They had a whole bunch of other ones, the baskets and all the different stuff. I didn't get some of the boxes in the baskets, because a lot of them I do have in my Cricut, but, um, and I don't make too many of those, so I didn't get those. So look, they do have those for $9.99. They were more than that because they were bigger. They were bigger than this one. Um, this is the paper bag die. And it is 2085247. And let me show you like the size of that. And it does come with a tag insert so you can um, you know, put your message inside and your layering piece if you want to cut out a window or whatever as well but you can put your piece in there let's make a bag so you can make it a pocket it's a card really it's a tag i mean a pocket but it's a pocket card and so you can do a couple things with it um just as a paper bag but it's a paper bag envelope so you can do a couple things you know this could be just also a tuck pocket pocket in a junk journal a mini album like a library pocket you could do a couple things well it's not really a library pocket but because it's not in half but you can use it as that kind of thing and the same thing with this let me show you how big the pieces of this is this could be like a pinwheel or dimensional flower so you can use that a couple different ways so these are the pieces and again you hook them together with a bread or a string and again you can make that um, bendable in a couple of different ways in full or thin or layer it and the leaves that go along with that and that's a 10 piece set and you got different sizes so you can make um, layered or different size dimensional flowers and then the last one I got which I said was like hers um, this is deco spec steptastic I don't normally get these the ones that are plates just like this because it's a texture plate but this is a nice one in this art deco and I picked up some of the other spellbinders art deco one so I thought this was really nice and it is huge and it's 2085274 and so again this plate you know it's bigger than my hand so this is probably yeah five by seven so this is an A7 size um, so you can use this and run it through a couple different things and make more than one on a plate on a sign. But I love that background. Anyway, so but this doesn't have a cut edge, so it would not cut out that shape. This just in, cuts into the paper like in a Boston folder. So anyway, guys, that is the Spellbinders haul of the day. So thanks for liking, watching, and subscribing. And I dare you to be creative. Take care. God bless. Bye bye.